Oh, man. Can't find that goddamn single. I'll be up here drinking regular water. Ah, coffee's almost gone. Oh, shit. The intrawebs, the intrawebs, they're trying to keep me down tonight. You know, everybody always say, well, not everybody. Just, just some race soldiers. Just some race soldiers. It'd be the race soldiers and it and it'd be them 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 chocolate covered white men. Yeah, I say, are oh, you always complaining? Everybody's against you. The world's against you. The world's against black people. Well, tonight, the world is against me getting this live up. The intrawebs are against me because they probably know I'm gonna say something tonight. Probably gonna get me blocked on Facebook anyway. It's about time for me to get blocked on Facebook. I guess so maybe tonight I'm gonna go out with a bang I'm literally in here trying to find a single you know you know y'all know I drink the colored water and everything I thought I had a single but I ain't got a single so I'm probably gonna be in here drinking some regular some regular old purified ass water it's all good though I don't need no flavor in it I guess but it's the black watch you know it's the black watch and peace to my sister, Angela Nirvana. Something happened to her broadcast. You know, I actually tried to wait until her broadcast got done tonight because I've stepped on her broadcast before because I don't really have a set time when I get on here. I just kind of pop up and do my thing, you know, especially on a live. I don't have a scheduled live. So tonight I scheduled my Facebook live, you know, like half an hour before. I don't know. But um, it was what it was. Don't mess with that. Hey, you. <laughs> Amen. Amen. So we we gonna get busy tonight. We gonna get busy. I don't even know if you can see what I say. I'm gonna talk about tonight, but uh, the 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 title of of this dose is KKK, and it's not the KKK that y'all think with the white sheets. It's the KKK at the capital. It's the capital letters, capital with an O, the capital nation's capital because that's really what it was it was the kkk kind of kind of kind of there's some shit that went on in washington dc that they really don't want to talk about and i'm not gonna get into no conspiracy theories but i got some questions i got some real questions to what went down but but before i do that my brother carl my brother calvin sister free Y'all in here, I appreciate you stepping into the to the comment section. Don't mess with that. Hey, I don't, you know, you know what? Uh I don't even know what you're talking about, Carl, but it sounds like I need to go look it up. Sounds like I need to go look it up. But I got some things I need to get off my chest before we before we go looking stuff up. You know, um this whole capital thing just had me wondering and and I've seen so many different angles and so much footage at this point. I'm kind of confused. I'm kind of confused as to what happened. So I got questions. I got questions. I think black people got questions, but our questions really aren't of concern. They're more of hilarity. Cause that's why I said at first, this ain't our problem. This is not black people's problem. We need to stay the fuck out of this. The only thing that I really wish we might have been involved in was when they was building that noose. When they was building that noose stand and all that, I really kind of wish we might have been around for that. You know, and we could have we could have probably got a little work in. Because if you're going up here build a noose right in front of the nation's capital, you deserve to get your ass whooped. And that shit got erected and nobody stopped it. I mean, you got to understand, this is the nation's capital. And these motherfuckers built a new stand. As if they was just going to get to hanging motherfuckers around Washington, D.C. Now, this is after Rudy and after Donnie had said all this shit and got all the troops all riled up. These motherfuckers had built a new stand with a functional noose hanging and ain't nobody say shit. They done went to Home Depot and got wood and ropes and nails and shit. And ain't nobody ask them nothing. And somewhere, somewhere, Juicy Smollett is like, what about me? 
What about me? They put a rope around my neck. What about me? Because these motherfuckers had a noose, a real noose, hanging from that wood. And you just don't bring no wood to Washington, D.C. You got to go to a Home Depot. You got to go to a Lowe's and shit. And when you walk in there and you start asking for motherfucking 30 two-by-fours, they're going to be like, well, what you motherfuckers doing? Oh, we're just going to build a noose right in front of the nation's capital. Oh, okay. Aisle 10. See, this is why I don't have no feeling for it. This is why I don't have no feeling for anybody that got took out for doing some fuck shit. Now, I know there were some people that, that got took out. I think there were some workers that got took out. People work in a working capacity that got took out. I understand. I understand. But if you was there for some malice, if you was there to cause problems and you got took out, that's your ass, man. That's your ass. I'm not trying to build off your death, but that's your ass because you should have kept your motherfucking ass at home. But since you was there to cause mischief and they took your monkey ass out, I hope your affairs were in order. I hope your affairs were in order because you didn't need to be there. You could have been anywhere in this world, but you chose to be in D.C., so that's your ass. How about that? How about that? The 14-year, uh, what was she, Navy, Army, something, veteran? I mean, really? Who else is that? Sister Catherine, how you doing tonight? Sister Sue? How y'all doing tonight? Looking forward to hearing your perspective on DC. Well, I'm I'm going to give it to you. I'm going to give it to you, Carl. You might be looking forward to it, but there's some people ain't going to be looking for it. Because, see, I don't give a fuck. Land. And at this point in time, we need to just step back and let these motherfuckers do what they're going to do on our land. This ain't got nothing to do with us. This ain't got nothing to do with us. We don't need to go protect the Capitol building when the Capitol Police Chief turned away the National Guard. After the mayor said, we need the National Guard there, he said, now we don't. Now, y'all do know the mayor is black. And I don't know if the captain of the Capitol Police is black, but I do know that the acting chief of the Metro Cops is black, and he was a little upset too. So you had the black mayor, you had the black Metro Cops chief. Is the Capitol Police chief black? See, I don't know. Freak, can you look that up? The, the, the Washington nation's Capitol Police chief, is he black? Because he turned the mayor away. He said, no, nah, we don't need it. We got it here. That just lets you know he's a Trumper. Why wouldn't you want protection of the nation's capital? Why wouldn't you want to protect all those politicians? And then another thing that I had questions about, they got up in there and causing all that mischief all over the Capitol. You got glass and you got all kinds of stuff. What's all this wood and all this breakable glass? Why isn't this a, a, a structure that you can't penetrate? There should have been bulletproof glass, unbreakable glass. That wood should have been reinforced with steel. I mean, that shit was like a museum or some shit. Anybody could have broke through that. This is the nation's capital. This is where all the politicians go. Are you serious? You allowed these motherfucking mongrels to come in there and just beat on the damn thing with hammers and, and hands and, and all kinds of shit and they could get in? That should have been bulletproof glass, unbreakable glass. All that wood and everything should have been reinforced, but no. They was breaking through that shit and then to be able to end up in the offices, all that protected and, 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 and government material, supposed to be certified, classified, bona fide, private material, they was just able to get at. See, something don't sound right when they're able to get that deep into the nation's capital. It just ain't right. But I know it starts with that Capitol Police Chief when he said no to the National Guard, when he said no to the, to the mayor, when he said no to the acting chief of the Metro Cops, 
Why would you turn the National Guard away, dog? But you brought him in at the Black Lives Matter protest. They brought him in at, at, at the uh, civil rights protest in 1866. I don't know if they was there for DACA or not. They, they might have escorted them in. I don't know. I don't know. But they was definitely there for all the other shit. Anything that pertains to black people, the National Guard show up on point. Them motherfuckers be there, sleeping, tents and shit. But this shit right here, he turns the National Guard away. So motherfuck him. Motherfuck him. Also, we have $750 million in defense. $750 billion, not million, $750 billion defense budget. And them motherfuckers out there got police officers with batons and shit, fencing, trying to, trying to wield off them motherfucking wild animals. I mean... Y'all can come into a neighborhood and shoot everybody up. You got all kind of bullets and tasers and everything, but you didn't have nothing to protect the nation's capital yesterday. This is why I don't give a fuck about what happened over there. It's not being un-American at all. They knew what was going to happen. They knew what was going to happen. Anybody innocent got out of there. They even showed some black folks like they said these, these people was down the hall. Didn't nobody mess with their offices. Didn't nobody come in there. No nothing. Minding their motherfucking business. They showed some black politicians was just in there chilling in their little spot. Letting all that melee happen down the hallway. It's not our business. That's Donald Trump. That's Rudy Giuliani. And that's all the mother motherfucking race soldiers. That's their business. Let them handle that shit. It's called I'm a sore loser. And he said, absolutely. Oh, come on now. They'd still be counting the bodies, cuz. They'd still be counting the bodies. If it was black, if this was a black, well, I, I don't want to put Black Lives Matter. I don't believe Black Lives Matter needs this light. I mean, there's only going to be about 100 motherfuckers that even see this total. But I still don't want to give Black Lives Matter that shine. Let's say if it was something to have to do with some real black Americans, okay? Not Black Lives Matter, black Americans. They'd be counting the bodies right now. They'd still be stacking them up, stacking them up. But you had five, six people they done said that died. And see, they don't really want to get into everybody. So you had the one 14-year military veteran, her ass trying to climb through a window, and they popped her. I mean... What are you doing? You crawl through a window knowing you shouldn't even be there, but you crawling through a window and you don't expect them to do something to you? And they popped her. Soon as she got up in that mother, uh, and she fell back. Uh, yep. You know, and I'm not making fun of her dying, but I'm making fun of the fact that she shouldn't have fucking been there. 14 year veteran? Well, at least your family taken care of. Because you've been in the military for 14 years. You're going to have good bennies. And you're probably going to be able to sue the government. So y'all going to get tore off there. And you'll be straight. You're going to have a nice burial. They're going to bring your flag to your husband and everything. You'll be good to go. But other than that, your ass should have stayed at home. And then you might have been a 15-year veteran. But instead, you chose to go be a part of that fracas. You chose to go be a part of that melee. And they ended up having to say, mayday, mayday, man motherfucking down. And then today I see a motherfucker shot his balls off with a taser. What the fuck? Had a taser in his pants and the motherfucker start going off on his balls. Are you crazy? Why would you even have a taser in your pocket like that? And it's supposed to be strapped to your hip or up here somewhere. He had the motherfucker in his pocket. And it started going off and lit his balls up. And he had a heart attack and died. Causing mischief, dog. You shouldn't have been there causing no mischief. You went out the wrong way, dog. That's some painful ass shit to get tased. I've been tased. I've been tased. Ray tased me. Ray tased me. I'm, I'm going to put it all out there. Ray tased me. She did. She tased Now, I hadn't did nothing to her. 
I hadn't did nothing to her. We was testing out some personal protection equipment for the girls. And we wanted to see if them motherfuckers really worked. And she tased my motherfucking ass. And yes, they worked. She, yeah, she did have a death wish. She did, brother. And you in the military, so you understand. Am I right or am I wrong, Kelvin? Her ass didn't need to be there. You go through a window with a Trump uh, flag as a cape? Oh, yeah. You better be able to fly, nigga. You better be able to fly. You got a Trump flag around your neck as a cape. And you got up in that window and it was like, you better be able to fly. Poop. Oh. Poop. Oh. She went back. She went back quickly. She sure did. She sure did. Uh, Capitol Police Chief resigned after the riot. I bet he, I, I guess he did. I guess he did. He saw enough. He saw enough of that shit. He was like, let me get the fuck up out of here. He probably was filling out his resignation on out the door. Here you go. I'm out of this bitch. Because if he didn't, they was going to fire him. Then he gets nothing. You got to resign. See, that's a white thing right there. White folks resign, black folks get fired. You resign, you get all your benefits. You get fired, you don't get shit. You don't get shit. So he could have sat around and waited, and all these people dying, and all these people that's going to sue the government and everything, he'd have got blamed for that shit. But as he resigned, full bennies, bam, stamp him on the way out, got him. He got his money. He got his money. That's why I think it was all set up. Rudy and Donnie and all them brothers were like, look, as soon as this shit's over, you need to have your resignation ready. Because if not, they're going to fire you and you ain't going to get shit. I ain't going to be able to do nothing because I'm going to be running for my life. Rudy Rudy, Rudy Giuliani, he's going to be running for his life. I mean, his hair dye going to be running. Maybe he's going to be walking fast. But his hair dye going to be, his, he got he got that Florida Evans. Y'all remember when Florida's, Florida's hair, hair dye, dye was running down her face? I can't remember what episode that was. But that was crazy as fuck. Robert J. Uh oh. Oh, so now, now they're gonna have a new police chief. A brother. Is this the correct department? Wait a minute. No, I don't think so. This is uh so that's the that's gonna be the Metro Cops police chief. What we want is the police chief, the Capitol. The Capitol, the building that they invaded, they got their own police. So that's the one we want. <laughs> you know I'm right, cuz. Come on now. How the hell are African Americans there with the news platform? Look, Brock, you've already seen this. What up, Daryl? What's going on? If I missed a couple people in here that son chimed in, what's up, Gil? He can absolutely go work somewhere else because he resigned. If he had got fired, he couldn't go work at 7-Eleven. Yeah, she wasn't going to walk no more after the bullet hit her neck. She she wasn't going to walk no more. That cape wouldn't work no more for her. Yeah, that, that Trump, that Trump Kool-Aid, that tang, that tang colored Kool-Aid, Daryl, they was drinking it too. They was drinking it by the half gallons like moonshine. Them wild ass animals and shit. Brock, you gotta understand. You might have seen some people with some melanin in their skin, but it wasn't no African Americans there. They already showed the one brother with the very, very, very bad haircut. We already know he's not a black American, okay? Ain't no black people walking around in 2021 with that haircut, okay? I mean, he had that motherfucking high and tight. No fade, no blend, no nothing. Zero fade. Then they had the brother that was inside, and he had the red hat on backwards. It looked like a MAGA hat, but I don't think it was. Then he had a black bubble jacket on, a hoodie. His whole gear lets you know that he was an immigrant. I just didn't know what he was. They done found out he was Kenyan. He's Kenyan. He's like Barack. He's like Barack, but see, he a real Kenyan. You see, he ain't light-skinned like Barack. He a real Kenyan, okay? Barack is a Hawaii Kenyan. That brother is right there. He Kenyan. And he said he was just in. He just wanted to see what was happening. So you better say that, nigga, because <laughs> he had a backpack. And they would have been like, what was in your backpack? Did you set off a bomb? Did you do something? They could have got him. He probably going to get deported anyway. The fact that he's on the radar and he was in that building, he probably going to get deported anyway. It don't matter. He gone. See, all that immigration shit that they do and all that deportation, it don't just be Latinos. They always want to make it seem like they're just shipping people back to, 
to, to, to uh, Spanish-speaking territories. It'd be Africans. It'd be all kind of dark people. He probably on his way back. He better hope Barack get him uh, pardoned so he can stay. That's what he better do. Because, yeah, he was there. He was just there looking like, what's going on here? Like, he didn't know what the fuck was really supposed to be happening. He couldn't believe it. Because he came to this country for a better life. He came here for the American dream. He knows that our former president was a Kenyan American. If he can do it, I can do it. Brada. Brada, you the, you the president. Brada. Yeah. You better hope Brada fucks with you now. You better get a hold of Barack. I'm trying to tell you. Because you on the radar. They done identified him and everything. Said he was a Kenyan. Just standing there. How you know that man's a Kenyan just standing? They done caught up to him and questioned him. And you don't see him doing shit but standing there. I'm trying to tell you. <laughs> yeah, the one that resigned. The one that resigned. Yeah, he is lucky. He is lucky to get shot. <laughs> See, there's so many different spellings to Brada. Brada. They're just going to rehire the Capitol chief that resigned in another section of the government around six months. Same pack. Probably. Probably. He'll stretch. He'll stretch. He'll he'll either go or they'll put him in an area where, you know, he'll he'll be under the radar. But he's gonna get his money, he's gonna get his benefits, he's gonna get all that shit. And he was a part of this shit, man. He's been he see, here's the thing. They reassign white folks. They reassign them. And black folks, they be like, look, there's the door, man. You you done fucked up out of here. There, there's the door. Well, can I get a reference, a letter of, uh, you know, no, no, no. There's the door. This motherfucker was allowed to resign after a riot at the Capitol. The Capitol hasn't been under siege for 209 years. 209 years. The motherfucking Capitol was under siege in 1812. Hell, we were still in shackles in that motherfucker. And it was under siege. So now Donald Trump has did something that hadn't been done. So that's going to go on his motherfucking political tombstone, too. He said he said he had did more shit for black people since Abe Lincoln. He sure did, because he done gave us a lot of laughs in this motherfucker. We don't had a lot. We ain't laughed this much in four fucking years. Yeah, we laughing in this bitch. It, it don't matter, man. It, it don't matter. Here's the thing. Appreciate you, brother Carl. Appreciate you, man. For real. If they do put Pence in power, what is it, man? It's it, it'll be it'll be nine in a minute. It's gonna be eleven days, dog. And you know you really don't count the twentieth. So it's like ten days before they really up out that bitch. What's the point of putting Pence in power? Just don't let Trump do nothing else. Take his ass up out the White House now. You know this was all him, but see, they don't want to do that because they look at that as scarring the country. That's why I don't like the way Biden's playing this shit. Biden's trying to slide in and all this shit. Once Trump said that he wasn't going to go to the inauguration, goddammit, Biden should have snapped back like, I don't want his motherfucking ass there. But no, he's going to be like, oh, we, we weren't expecting him to come. Huh? You're not expecting the present president to show up at the inauguration? That doesn't happen. Brother Lax, how you doing? He said he wasn't going to the inauguration to make more news headlines. And Joe Biden should have made one more news headline like, I don't give a fuck if he shows or not. See, that's why I don't like the 78-year-old Joe. See, the 78-year-old Joe done got soft. He done got soft. See, if it was the 58-year-old Joe, he might have been like, you know what? Fuck him. He don't need to come. But send Melania on up in there. And tell her to wear that red dress that I like. See, that's what the 58-year-old Joe would have said. Joe would have been spicy with him. But now he's 78, dog. Joe barely getting around this bitch. And he wants to get through the inauguration, get his feet dug in, and then he's going to turn it all over to Kamala. I'm trying to tell you. They playing this shit out, dog. They playing this shit out. Kamala is about to be our president in this bitch. Joe ain't gonna be able to take all this motherfucking heat. There's a lot of heat coming on Joe's ass. 
Brother, brother Baskerville. It's one of one of the flyest brothers, man. One of the flyest brothers out. You know, I ain't never really cared too much about clothes. You know, you ain't gonna see me in a whole bunch of nice haberdashery. You know, I just don't put that much into it. I always like my kids to be nice. My lady can be nice. Everybody can be a motherfucker. I, I, hey, as long as my shit is clean, I'm good. But Brother Baskerville, boy, boy Brother Baskerville needs to have his own spreading like GQ Sports because he's sports related. Plus, he got that cool shit. And then he just he just got a different swag. And he's an educator. We need more Brother Baskervilles. Good dressers, good teachers, good coaches, good fathers. We need more Brother Baskervilles, goddammit. We do. What y'all keeping? I'm missing some shit. What y'all keeping over line? I'm trying to stay in the chat and stay on my shit. Biden said today he was informed of a Trump not showing. That is the first thing he agrees with Trump. And says, see? See, Biden's soft, man. He was supposed to come back. That is disrespect. Oh, you ain't going to be there for the changing of the guard? You ain't going to pass the baton, motherfucker? I would have kicked back at him but see Joe 78. Joe 78. If Joe had that mullet still, and he had that, that you know, he was still kind of thick. Joe was kind of kind of thick in the shoulders back in the day. Now, nah, he ain't no more. Joe kind of frail. You know, he done had some problems. He out there playing with his dog, done twisted his ankle. Joe just trying to get through this shit. Joe trying to get through this shit, and then he going to handle it, handle it right off to Kamala. That's what he going to do. That's what he going to do. He going to hand it right off to Kamala. I'm trying to tell you. Said he wasn't going to inaugurate to make sure his supporters knew that they had a green light to disrupt the violence. Is that what he said, John? For real, you making that shit up? He didn't say that shit, because they should take him up out of that bitch now. No, he's not going. <laughs> he better skip town. But see, all the shit they got on him, they say he ain't going to go to jail anyway. Be a whole bunch of fines and bullshit. Shit might get caught up in court so long, he might die before they actually convict him. You know, they have a way of stringing that shit along and shit. They'll string a motherfucker that they really need to put in jail for 10 years. He fuck around and die. But let my ass have a motherfucking speeding ticket and shit. They be knocking on the goddamn door tomorrow. Trying to drag me the fuck up out of this bitch. Yeah, man. So I'm just saying, I've really just had a lot of questions about this shit. I didn't believe the way it happened. I didn't believe the lack of security. We had a structure that was broken into by most motherfuckers that didn't have no weapons. They was just beating on the doors and knocking them bitches down. Breaking glass. How do you break glass in the nation's capital? So are you telling me a motherfucker can just come through there just riddling that bitch? And you can break all that glass? When you at least watch the movies and shit, they be having bulletproof glass in the movies. How come you don't have it in real life? This is one of the oldest structures in the world. Political structures. It's the nation's capital. And they could just shoot through the fucking glass. They could just bang out the glass. Come on, man. That was some bullshit. And here's something. I know a lot of y'all done seen. I know a lot of y'all done seen enough footage. You saw the motherfuckers wrecking havoc, running through the halls and doing all kinds of crazy shit. Why the fuck they keep showing that part when they walking in and they all in a single file line and shit with the stanchions? How come they ain't pulling the stanchions up out the bases and shit and using them as weapons and tearing up the property inside? The, how come they walking in and they just single file line like stanchions on both sides, poles on both sides, ain't nobody, they just walking in like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. they didn't get really lit until they start walking up the stairs. And that's when he seen the one brother trying to fight him off and shit with his motherfucking baton. And you got a nine millimeter on your hip and you got motherfuckers running at you trying to fucking do shit to you. But you're trying to wheel them off with a baton. I'd have unloaded that motherfucker on their ass. I wouldn't have shot him up high, but I'd have took out a kneecap or two. I'd have took out a kneecap or two. And see, all you got to do is hit the motherfuckers in the front and them other motherfuckers get to bailing. They don't get to bailing. You knock a couple down right there in the front. It's just like bowling and shit. Not pin one, two, and three down. Everything else takes its course. But when you slide off of one, that's when you get that seven ten split. No, you knock them. Boom, 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 boom. Knock them bitches right down. Everybody else would have just fell out. They'd have left. 
You wouldn't have to worry about nothing else. Just knock them first motherfuckers down. He up there trying to wheel them off, fell and shit, running up the stairs all out of breath. Uh-uh, we're not running nowhere. It's 30 of y'all and it's one of me. I'm going to fight y'all with a stick. No, 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 no. I'm going to unload on your ass and then I'm going to re reload this clip. And if anybody else is still standing, uh, let the chip fall where they may. Fuck y'all. Fuck yeah. Twitter didn't ban him, John. I just sent you his new profile. <laughs> Twitter didn't ban him. <laughs> Kamala is not ready to be in control, okay? Kamala is not ready to be in control. She's not ready to run this country, and she's going to she's going to face more resistance than Joe is. Okay? They don't like Joe. And they don't like Kamala. But Kamala's a woman, so they really don't like that. And goddamn, she done said she was black. See, now I really wish she just said she was Brahmin Indian. Because now she gonna get the whole black hate. And she don't deserve that black hate. She's not black. She done cel said she celebrated Kwanzaa, so she really done got black. Said she celebrated Kwanzaa when she was a little girl. I don't even understand how they let that ride. You know goddamn well. You got all them pictures of all that Indian stuff when you was younger, but you ain't got one picture of y'all celebrating Kwanzaa. Not one picture. You ain't got one picture of you being at a black church when you was young. Not one picture. But you went to you went to church every Sunday and a neighbor picked you up. A Negro neighbor picked y'all up. And y'all went to church. Come on, man. Why we keep believing this shit? But that's okay. It's all good. I'm good with it. I'm, I'm totally good with it. There was some other shit that I wanted to talk about. Let me, let me, let me, let me stay on course here. But yeah, we, we already talked about, we already, we already, you know what? Okay, so here's the thing. They also said some people were hired. I heard that they were like, uh, what are they called? Crisis actors. I guess these motherfuckers just show up whenever there's some problems. They just show up in just different costumes. Is that shit really true? Because I saw the motherfucker dressed as something else at something else. Is that really true that that's what they doing now? So these really ain't real motherfuckers? Oh, and I'm, I'm uh, speaking of not real motherfuckers, I'm about to, about to bust something on y'all ass here. Uh, Ann Arbor folk. Our Ann Arbor folk. So we went to high school with a motherfucker named, can't say his real name because then, you know, He'll say that I'm trying to slander him because I probably won't be able to prove what I'm about to say, but I was given this information by a real, real good source, okay? That's all I'm going to say. Not going to mention their name. But we went to high school with me, and if you went to Huron in the mid to late 80s, you'll know this name. Turd Nando Flonzo. So I didn't say his real name. But his name is Turd Nando Flonzo. I guess this motherfucker is a proud boy. See, he done went all the way in. He done dug all the way in. He's always been on that, that greasy shit. He talked shit about Barack when Barack was in. He been talking shit these last several years. He done blocked me because he did some fuck shit a few years back. You know, and... Uh, Got Shimmy Schimbeckler all hooked up in it and shit. So I don't talk to Shimmy now because Shimmy ain't never made, made peace with the shit, you know. But Turd, we'll call him Turd. I've been called Turd all week. So we're going to call him Turd. Turd Nando is a proud boy, they said. He done went off and joined the Proud Boys. Now, what I have learned about the Proud Boys is most of them motherfuckers are immigrants. Most of the Proud Boys aren't even American boys. The one who leads them is from Canada. The second in command, he's from either, was it Somalia or some shit? And the third motherfucker, I think he's, uh, is he Latino? No, the second in command is Latino. And the third one is from Somalia. None of them motherfuckers are American. So I'm not sure why we call them the Proud Boys, Okay. I'm not sure why we call them the proud. What are they proud of? Proud that they fled from another motherfucking country that they couldn't cut it with and they came over here? So then they want to wreak havoc over here? A motherfucker is a Canadian. He couldn't, you can't cut it in Canada. You a bitch. I mean, goddamn, who can't cut it in Canada? 
I get why some of these motherfuckers leave these other territories where they ain't, they ain't wearing shoes and shit, where they fucking drinking waters out of, out of ladle. I understand, motherfucker, why you come over here seeking the American dream. You go from drinking motherfucking water out of a ladle and give your ass a motherfucking solo cup and your ass think you a king in this bitch. Shit, you give a motherfucker from one of them countries, give him one of these cups, it's like a chalice. It's like a motherfucking, they think they Bishop Magic Don Juan in this bitch. They go from drinking out of a rusty ass ladle to drinking out of a solo cup in America. They done made it in this bitch. They done made it. And then you want to come over here and try to be a bigot? Try to be a bigot? You got a lot of motherfucking nerve. So yeah, Fernando Flanzo is a motherfucking proud boy. I'm still waiting for him to show back up and show us where his suite is at Michigan Stadium. He tell everybody every year he got a suite at Michigan Stadium. He ain't showed it to a motherfucking game yet. Invited all these motherfuckers to go to a game one year and didn't show up in town on that Saturday. <laughs> I tell you, that motherfucker is something else. Now he talking about he got he he got ridiculed in school and they called him all kind of nasty names and shit. Told him to go put a sombrero on and stand in the corner and shit. You raggedy motherfucker. Ain't nobody told your ass to go put no sombrero on. Little bitch ass motherfucker. Shit. Crazy ass. What? Come on, John Lax. You know who the fuck I'm talking about. I'm about to text your ass what the name is. You know who the fuck I'm talking about. Shit. I just can't let him uh, get a part of my algorithm. I'm learning. See, I didn't realize that algorithm can be actually spoken to. I thought it was just some type shit. I guess you can say some shit and it can become a part of your algorithm. I didn't know that. I didn't know that. I'm new to this algorithm shit. So I can't say his name. Can't say Tornando's name. Fuck him. He used to get beat up in school, and he come back to Ann Arbor talking that dumb shit. He going to get beat up again. I don't know nothing about the sombrero thing. I didn't meet him until high school, and he wasn't wearing no sombrero anyway. He wasn't wearing no sombrero. He was just proudly wearing that Letterman jacket, even though he never stepped on the motherfucking football field. Going around town telling everybody he's a receiver. Motherfucker, the only thing you caught was the water bottles, bitch. You didn't catch shit. You didn't catch no passes. What Wearing pads all the way from here all the way up to his shoulder pads. Didn't get in the game. Like, why you got so many pads on, motherfucker? You don't even play. Fuck that bitch. So, yeah, he a proud boy. And if anybody see his motherfucking ass and he ain't seen this video, tell him. See, he still knows me as Buff. Tell him Buff made a video about you. I don't give a fuck. Tell that bitch ass punk. Tell him I made a video about him. Give him my number. He got my number. He ain't gonna call that motherfucker, but he got my number. Let the Proud Boys come to Washington County talking that punk shit. Bring all their asses. Because all I'm gonna do is call INS and then we'll meet y'all in the Sam's parking lot. They'll be putting y'all bitches in vans. A bunch of immigrants causing motherfucking trouble in America? Come on, man. That's an easy one. Book them, Dano. Book them. So we talked about the motherfucker shooting off his joint with his taser. That's crazy. We don't talked about the unsafe structure. And, and I guess if they had hired actors, I mean, I, I don't know. I'm hearing that. Though. I don't heard that a few times. They hired these motherfuckers to come in there. They hired motherfuckers to come in there. You have to understand, when you got motherfuckers walking in all nicely, I mean, they was walking in like they was tithing and shit. It was just walking in nice. As soon as they broke past the stanchions, that's when all hell broke loose. And they started running wild and shit. You have people scaling the buildings. You show motherfuckers scaling a building, but then you show other people walking in nicely in between stanchion roped off areas. Come on, man. That's some bullshit right there. That's some bullshit. I, I, don't, I don't play with the bullshit. Yeah, I don't put, who is that? Oh. I'll be watching all these other teams and be on TV, man. I don't even watch the Pistons anymore. I don't know one player on the Pistons team. I don't know one player. Oh, is Blake Griffin, he's still on the team? 
I don't know if he's on team or not. I mean, the motherfuckers just walking in. They was just walking in. Just... And then when they got past the stanchion, it's a revolution! I'm like, what happened to all that when y'all was back there? They didn't run through, they just walked in. Like somebody was just like taking their tickets and shit. And then when they got in, they just all hell broke loose. How did it get to the point where that chick thought she could climb through that fucking window? Y'all already breaking the door down. You were already breaking the glass. How come she just didn't wait till they broke the glass and they could have just turned the handle? She climbed up in that window with that cape on and that motherfucker said, you know what? I've had enough of this shit. Boop! Knocked her ass back. He knocked her back. And right down the hall, Mr. Zzz, yeah, right down the hall. Zzz, I bet you they died like within five minutes of each other. The shit didn't last that long. All the shit they did, it was out of there an hour or so. So he was killing himself. She was getting killed. And the other people, unfortunately, there was some, there was some innocent people. They died and God rest their soul. But the motherfuckers that was there to cause mischief, y'all deserved that shit. Sorry, you deserved it. You sure did, motherfucker. What nationality and ethnicity is Ternardo? Oh, the motherfucker, he a Latino. I don't know what he is. He a Latino. He, uh, yeah, I don't know what he, I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. He, he one of them Spanish speakers. Secret device wasn't playing. They popped the shit out. Yeah, yeah, they, they weren't. They weren't. See, I ain't heard of those secrets, uh, C, uh, CIA, and, and, and then my, my homeboy told me that CIA don't carry guns like that, so it probably wasn't the CIA. And then they said it was like somebody in Secret Service or something. She had police behind her, too. That was the crazy thing. Police was behind her. They the motherfuckers that was helping her out. They was the first responders. They was right there. They co-worker and shit. They colleague is the one that popped her. He wasn't having that shit. She tried to come through that window and he had some type of crazy flashback and he was like, oh no. He dropped that ass. And then police was right there and they should have been cuffing her caped ass and they didn't cuff her. And they ended up having to apply direct pressure to no avail. To no avail. It was all a setup. You trying to tell me her getting shot was a setup? I don't think her getting shot was a setup. I think someone high profile was behind that door. Could have been Pence. See, we on the same plane there, brother. Could have been Pence. Could have been Pence behind that door. See, uh, what did my man tell me? He said, you don't shoot to protect property. You shoot to protect people. So if there was somebody important behind that door and they thought she was a threat, oh, she had to go. Gotta go, gotta go. Gotta go, gotta go. Because that motherfucker lit her up with one shot, kill shot. He wasn't doing no warning, no kneecaps, no nothing. Her knees was up because she was coming through the window. Her knees was up. He could have easily shot her in the knee. He hit her in the neck. He said, no, nah, you got to go. I just left the range. You got to go. Somebody behind that door, yeah, and when everybody rushed to her aid, they snuck that other person out the door because wasn't nobody moving after that. He fired that single shot. He didn't have to fire nothing else. He was just like, boom, put his shit back in. They went to there, got to her. Got, whoever that was behind that door, probably Pence. You probably right, dog. It was probably Pence. Who else was high up in there? Pelosi, was she there? Chuck Schumer, all them motherfuckers, man. All them motherfuckers, yeah. Poop, she just went back to one shot. Oh, my neck. Yeah, it was over. No, listen to the fucking name. Same class, but listen to the name. Ternando Flonzo. Come on now. Out of all the other Spanish-speaking motherfuckers, that name don't even sound like him. And I wouldn't even utter his name whether it wasn't his name on my shit anyway. Fuck him, too. 
Over the last few years, been a, there's been a few motherfuckers. That, uh, that motherfucker can't speak Spanish. He barely speak English, Kimi. He barely speak English. He can't speak Spanish, though. I know he can't speak Spanish. He might be able to say hola, some shit like that. He can say corona, the motherfucking alky. Yeah, if they'd have ran in on Pence, what would that? But see, they were supposed to be on his side, though. So they would have probably fucked with Pence. That's the crazy thing. If she had a Trump flag on her, why would she have been running up in that bitch looking for Pence? That's the crazy thing. That's what I'm, this is what I don't really get. If they was for the Republican side, why was they fucking around when the Republicans, you know, was in the building like that? Why didn't they get it to the point when they knew the Democrats was going to be meeting, they go up in there and terrorize them motherfuckers? She probably got fucked up with a Trump cape on because somebody was protecting Trump's right-hand man. That's a fucked up way to go. It's a fucked up way to go, dog. I mean, goddamn. I don't know what she's thinking as a 14-year military vet. And as what my man said, he said she probably was brainwashed, you know. They get they get so deep into that military shit, and she was probably brainwashed as a soldier. I mean, remember uh full metal jacket? He only made it through basic training. Was that Gomer Pyle? He only made it through basic training. And they fucked him up, man. They fucked him up. And she probably was like that. She probably was like that. Just mine was fucked up. I mean, she was married and everything. What did she tell her husband she was going? Hey, we're going to terrorize the Capitol. And he said he was okay? The fuck? Because one of the president's lawyers have been calling for pendant execution if he certified the votes. What? Yeah. Trump says everybody's a coward. He's a motherfucking number one coward. Everybody's a, a coward to Trump with his bad heels. Nobody listening to Donnie no more. If you don't do what he says, you a coward. Fuck him, man. Fuck him. You know, there's one thing, though. I stayed away from this because I knew it was going to be something that was going to come after. I don't like to hit a lot of this shit because y'all know I ain't no motherfucking journalist. I don't like to hit a lot of this shit too early. I like to let shit get a little deeper. And I knew that the brother that was affected in this, a young brother, 14-year-old brother that was affected in this, in, 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 in the iPhone gate, I knew there was something deeper to it. She came at that, 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 that baby, because he's 14, he's a baby, okay? Natty just turned 16 yesterday. She's still a baby. She ain't mine, but don't get shot. She ain't mine, but she mine. And she's still a baby. So as a 14-year-old, he's a baby. He was with his daddy. He was with his daddy. At a hotel, a nice hotel. Because his daddy was a musician or is a musician. He's played for, with like Maxwell and Babyface, all kinds of people and shit. Renowned musician. They deserve to be in that hotel. They wasn't scamming. They wasn't skimming. They wasn't stealing. And they wasn't trespassing. They were residents in that hotel. And I guess she had been previously. Or was. And he took an Uber and left her phone in the Uber. But to accuse that young boy. That baby. Of stealing her phone. He told her the phone wasn't his. It had a whole different case on it. Like, he stole her phone and then went and bought a case. Come on now. It didn't make sense from the get. But it was a total racial profile. Total bigoted act. But I said there was something, there was something deeper in it. Had to be something deeper in it. That's her name. There it is. Ashley Babbitt. Yeah. I wonder if she, no, nah, that was, that was Bobbitt, John Wayne Bobbitt. Her name is Babbitt. 
That's a different spelling to Ashley. Hopefully they get that right on her tombstone. It'd be bad if they buried her and they just named her A-S-H-L-E-Y like Ashley's really spelled. Because that's a different spelling to Babbitt. I mean to Ashley, sorry. And to her husband. Brother, if you sent her out there to do that, you a piece of shit. But if you had no idea that your wife was a crazed ass maniac, God bless you, man. Go find you another woman, okay? You go get them bennies and make sure you sue the government and get y'all money and then go marry somebody else. Yeah, because Ashley was a crazy bitch. She was crazy as fuck. She shouldn't have been at the nation's capital. She should have been home making you some grits, bro. But no, she want to be climbing through windows. And somebody important was on the other side of that glass, like Brother Gill said. Somebody was on the other side of that glass that couldn't be got to. And they made sure she didn't get through to get to. Yeah. But getting back to uh, the little heifer with the iPhone. She did an interview. And I, some of y'all probably seen this. I got sent this today. Peace to my sister Rochelle. She sent She sent me... Uh, she sent me that she sent me this piece and I, I broke it down to a couple minutes. She did an interview with Gail. And you ain't never gonna hear me defend Gail. You ain't gonna never hear me defend Gail or Oprah for their media shit. I may defend them as black women. They make it difficult, but I do my best. But I'm gonna have to defend Gail on this one. I know they was in two different places, so Gail didn't have that interview like she had with R. Kelly. She wasn't in the same room like she was with R. Kelly. Because if she had been in the same room, I don't even know this little girl's name. Don't even give a fuck. The crazy thing is, during this interview, if y'all ain't seen the interview, I'm going to put the motherfucker up in the chat room. If y'all ain't seen the interview, God damn, it was some crazy shit. I'm going to put it up in the chat. Uh-uh. Let me get it. Let me get it. It's coming. Copy it from there. She did an interview with Gail. Okay? Y'all check this motherfucker out when we done here. Yeah. So I'm going to go to... where. Oh, Sister Shana been putting it all over, too. Cool. Cool. She been putting it all over. Yeah, we need to see this one. We need to see this motherfucker. There we go. I just put it in the chat. All right. I just put it in the chat. God, God damn it. I, oh, yeah. There we go. There we go. Okay. That bitch. Maya. Poinsetta, poinsetta, sound like a plant. She did that interview with Gail, and she was about as disrespectful as a little motherfucker gonna be. She went through the whole interview, and let me get this shit queued up. Dilla, you gotta stop for a minute, bro. You gotta stop for a minute. Okay, let's stop Dilla. Get this one going back over here, because it's over here, it's on this device. Well, I got to give me another iPhone because I, I can't. I got to do one thing on one thing. I do another thing. I'm still iPhone Android. Uh-oh. Yeah, she did the interview with Gail. Now, I cut this shit down just so y'all could hear it. Hear the disrespect from this little bitch. I, I, I don't try to call women bitch, but sometimes when I think of some women bitch just come out and she a little bitch. She a little bitch. Yeah, she a little bitch. Listen to this shit. Just what I'm going to give you. You can go listen to the. Some of y'all done cut away. Because my shit done went down from 20 viewers to, to, to 12, 10. That's okay. I'm going to re-put this bitch up again. There we go. Listen to this bitch. To those who stayed around and didn't cut away to go to it. What do you think when you look at that video? You're standing there in your leggings and your flip-flops, and it looks like you're just going nuts for lack of a better word. When Gail said your leggings and your flip-flops, I lost my shit. Because she's pissed. You can tell Gail's pissed. And 
I ain't never seen her cut into a motherfucker like that. She said, you're standing there with your leggings on and your flip-flops, like, kind of through a little shade, like, bitch, you know. You, you got your leggings on, you got your flip-flops on, but now you want to be a boss to a 14-year-old. Listen. No, I'm not letting you walk away with my phone. I don't feel that that is who I am as a person. I don't feel like this one mistake does define me, but I do sincerely from the bottom of my heart apologize that if I made... She apologized. If you ain't seen the shit, some of y'all done cut away and y'all watching it now. She apologized. Listen to the rest of this interview and tell me, does it really sound like she's apologetic? The son feel as if I assaulted him or if I hurt his feelings or the father's feelings. I don't believe one mistake defines anybody, but I, I think when I look at that particular video, you're, you did more than just accuse him. The video seems to show that you physically attacked this young boy. You do see that too, right? But at the end of the day, the dad did end up uh, like slamming me to the ground and... You attacked his 14-year-old baby. Because at 14, he's a baby. You 22, you're supposed to know better. But watch how she takes it from being a 22-year-old woman to a 14-year-old child to where she's just a little girl. And he's a guy. See, I always like to do that shit. They want to get younger when they do shit and then make the younger one older. Watch. Pulling my hair and throwing me and dragging me across the ground, so... I, I will say that. Yeah, but, but that's all you can say. Yeah, you got up in his son's face, you assaulted his son, and he said, nah, bitch, not today. He said, nah, bitch, not today. His daddy here. See, a lot of youngins might have not had their daddy there. And their mom would have been there. And their mom might have tried to play a little different role and try to get her son up out of there. Son might have acted out and did something to her because he's stronger than him. He's 14 years old. He's stronger than him. It's good that he didn't mess with her. But the daddy said, no, nah, this is a child. You're a grown up. I'm going to take care of this ass now. I think, you know, the video we saw, it looked like you had just attacked his son. Yeah, the footage shows me attacking his son of attacking him. How? Yelling at him? Yes. Okay. I apologize. Can we move on? I know you... Just because she apologized, the world's supposed to go on now. She wants to talk about something else. What else are we going to talk about? We're going to talk about the fact that his son didn't have your phone? That you made a fucking mistake? Yeah, we're going to talk about that. Listen. I don't need to. I just want to apologize. But I do think that there should be some context to your actions that day. Okay, so basically, I'm, I'm a 22-year-old girl. I am... 22-year-old girl. She's a 22-year-old girl. Now, she's probably told, if not one, 50, I'm a grown-ass woman. I'm 22. I'm grown. I'm an adult. Now she's a 22-year-old girl. Bitch, bye. I, I don't, I, racism uh, is, I said, I, how is one girl accusing a guy about a phone a crime? Oh! She doesn't know American history. Has she ever heard of an Emmett Till? Has she ever heard of fucking Emmett Till? When a white woman accused Emmett Till of whistling at her? And they killed Emmett Till. Along with hundreds of others. For doing the same shit. Accusing a black man of doing something that he didn't do. How is that a crime? Bitch, bye! Where is the context in that? Mia, what is the Mia, deeper? Mia, what is the deeper? Mia, what is the deeper? Mia, story it's here? not. It, it, that's not the. She said, "What is the deeper story here? It gets deeper than that. Does she not know about the fucking Central Park bitch with the black bird watcher? Does she not know about that? That's recent. You might not know about Emmett Till, but bitch, you know about Karen and the dog." Making the dog squeal like she was in and and fake panting and shit like he was chasing after her. You don't know about that, bitch. Bye. You have to at least understand your actions that day. You seem to have attacked this little boy, this young boy, this this teenager. You seem to have attacked this teenager about the phone, and then it turned out he didn't even have your phone. 
That's the thing. I mean, you're, you're, you're saying, look, I'm 22 years old. You're 22 years old, but you are old enough to know better. So I will say you're 22. Oh, I can't. Enough. enough. That would tell you hear that? You got to watch the video. Because when she does it, when she says enough, she goes like this. Like, shut up, bitch. Enough. She told Gail, Gail, goddamn, 70 years old. Enough. You 22. How the fuck old is Gail? Does anybody know how old Gail is? Gail at least 60. And this is a 22-year-old heifer who looked at the camera. They on a Zoom call. She said enough. Like, bitch, shut up. To Gail. Gail trying to help you clear your name, bitch. But you're going to say enough. Watch the video. I did have my phone. The hotel did end up having my phone. I did get my belongings returned to me. See, she lying there. The hotel didn't have her phone. The Uber driver had his phone and then brought it back to the hotel because he knew who must have dropped it. She's trying to clean her shit up. They're trying to change the narrative. She's trying to smooth it over that the phone was at the hotel. No, it wasn't, bitch. It was in the car where you left it, which just debunks your story of how can I be without my phone? I don't have any other way of communicating with anybody, but you left it in a fucking Uber? What were you thinking about when you left your device in an Uber? What else do you have? I mean, I've actually never ridden in an Uber, be honest with you. I ain't never ridden in an Uber or a Lyft, but I drove a cab. And I know that a motherfucker get out of a cab, the first thing I do was look behind me and see if they dropped anything. Because I don't want to come back. It wasn't like I was on a hustle. I was making bread. I didn't give a fuck about somebody else's personal property. But if they left the phone in that bitch, I didn't... I just called a number that I had just picked up from and be like, hey, there's a phone in the car. Come out and get this motherfucker. I'm not taking that phone. I'm not trying to sell that phone. I'm not trying to, uh, you know, do nothing to that phone. I don't want to be a part of that shit. I'm getting my bread just by picking your ass up, dropping you off. And I don't want to come back later to bring you your phone. So come get this motherfucker now. And that's what the Uber driver did. He didn't want no smoke. You don't even know what kind of Uber driver he might have been. He might have been one of them motherfucking Uber drivers that's renting an enterprise car at $200 a week. Because he don't really have no transportation. So that's his transportation. His transportation comes because he got to drive motherfuckers around. He don't really have a car. He got a car for his job. And then because he has a job, he got a car. So when all the Uber people get out, he can take his kids to school. In between Uber routes, he can pick his kids up from school. But that's not really his car. So he don't want to lose his transportation. He don't want to lose his means of income. So he brought that phone back. And she had been blaming a 14-year-old kid. Stupid ass bitch. This is what happens to us. See, I'm more concerned about this right here than I am in that motherfucking capital shit. I'm more concerned about this. This is more about what the Black Watch is about. I'm protecting this shit more than I'm protecting the Capitol. How can I protect the Capitol? They had a motherfucking police department out there that couldn't protect the Capitol. You only had a few motherfuckers who protected the Capitol. That motherfucker who took that chick out and whoever manufactured them tasers and shit that, oh, zzz, zzz, that motherfucker. Yeah, we had a few people that was working good at, at the Capitol. But everybody else, fuck them. Whoever was on security detail out in front of the Capitol and let them build that fucking noose, Fuck them. They stood there and let them watch them build that shit. A racist monument. That's a racist statue. A racist monument. But it was functional. You can see. You can really hang a motherfucker with that. Washington, D.C. Not down in Georgia. Not in Mississippi. Not in Alabama. Washington, D.C. Right in front of the nation's capital. A fucking newsstand. And ain't nobody taking it down. And you expect black people to get upset about this shit? Man, let me see some black people empathizing about this shit. Anybody that was unjustifiably murdered or injured? Absolutely. But if a motherfucker went up there for some mischief and caught one? Okay. What are we eating tomorrow? Shit. What are we eating tomorrow? Sunday. Let's talk about Sunday dinner. It ain't even Saturday yet. Let's talk about Sunday dinner. Fuck them.
She was so nasty, so vile. And if you're watching the video, she got a hat on that says, Daddy, what's that about? What's, what, what's that about? What, what kind of message are you sending there, Daddy? Are you Daddy's little girl? Are you Daddy's little girl? With her hair all stuck up under the hat like that? Fuck that bitch. No disrespect to cancer patients, but that bitch is like she just got out of chemo. And I know that's her real hair, so I don't feel bad about talking about it. That's just she like she got on one of them baseball hats that's got the built-in wig and shit. Fuck her. Fuck that hoe. Shit. If that boy didn't have his daddy and she's in there accusing that boy, security could have came in and slammed that boy on the ground. We know what happens in those situations. If he don't have no supervision, he don't have no protection. She talking about why is that a crime? Bitch, are you crazy? You know how many people have been beat up, brutalized, and murdered because a white woman said a black man did something that he didn't do? Get the fuck out of here. Ho ass bitch. That's how we die in this bitch, man. That's how we die. We don't just die with black on black crime. Sometimes it be that white on black crime. Yeah. Because the security guards and all them motherfuckers, they was like right there. But dad was like, not today, motherfuckers. That's his phone. And when she came at him, daddy gave her that word. Maybe that's why she got daddy's hat on. Maybe she having motherfucking flashbacks of his daddy. Because he put that work in, dragged that bitch by her hair. <laughs> dragged her by her hair for fucking with his son. See, I'm not... I'm not commending him dragging by his hair as a man to a woman, but yeah, she turned in from a woman to an animal, not a little girl that she wants to portray on the video. I'm a 22-year-old girl. I'm not a 22-year-old woman now. I'm not grown now. I'm not that bitch that's in the hotel lobby. You were staying in that hotel lobby. You said, if you was just a little girl, you wouldn't have been staying in a hotel. You grown. You grown, bitch. You grown. You took that Uber there by yourself. You grown. But now you want to be a little girl so you can get America, you know, all upset. No, you're not a little girl. You're 22 and you attacked a 14-year-old baby. Fuck you. That's the way I see that. Fuck you. Uh, Mel, man, been on here over an hour now. Shit. <laughs> so yeah man this capital thing it, this will be some more shit that just keeps unraveling and unraveling and unraveling on it man It's it's got layers it's got crazy layers but I really don't care about that shit because they know goddamn well if they can protect that motherfucker against civil rights marches you should be able to attack it, uh, 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 protect it when, when Jethro and Cletus and Cooter and all them motherfuckers come up there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. When they come up there dressed as Vikings, Trump flags tied around their neck, some had weapons, When they come in there for mischief and you don't protect the nation's capital, let the chips fall where they may. I have I have no problem with saying, see, because I know if you are an American, if you are an American, you don't do that. That is not American. They're not trying to seek justice. They're not trying to uphold our democracy. They are terrorist terrorist he really could have he could have put his pimp ham down tiki he just he just grabbed her by her hair just to get her out the way he could have put his pimp hand down when he had her by the hair he could have put a pimp he could have held her by her hair but he didn't there, see, there's so much that could have happened there. I'm so sick of these movies, man. 
I guess Michael Ely's in a new movie with the the obsessed. It's one of the people are obsessed. Don't they have another plot in Hollywood that they can do? Every, they've played that, where the man is obsessed, where the woman is obsessed. Isn't there another plot? Hell no. They look like the Beyonce video in the summertime. They was lined up, all uniformed up and shit, vests and shields and everything for a whole bunch of motherfucking BLM sign holders. And these wild ass dogs run up in the Capitol and them motherfuckers scurrying for batons. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> motherfucker. Motherfucker. motherfucker was trying to fight him off. He's he trying to fight him off and shit. You got motherfucker running up to you with a Viking helmet on. Yeah, uh, uh, uh. Are you fucking kidding me, dog? Are you fucking kidding me? You got a motherfucker with a Viking helmet on walking up the steps, just stalking you. That's when you put one in his left knee. You stop the Viking. Stop the Viking first. He's the head pin, remember? He's pin number one. Stop pin number one, hit two and three, and you're good. He wouldn't need to run up them stairs, stumbling and shit, out of, out of breath and shit, trying to pull his damn baton out. He had that baton, it's like an antenna. It was stretches out. He couldn't get the motherfucker all the way out. He all. <laughs> Woo! That was some of the best shit. He could, could, his shit was jammed. He couldn't get. <laughs> I'm sorry. He was a good one. He was better than me, as they say. He was better than me. Because if I had been going up them motherfucking steps and they stalking me, I'm going to turn around and be like, you know what? Hold it. I'm going to give you a chance right now. Because what I'm about to do is just pull out my gun and start shooting you. I'd give him warning. That'd be the warning shot. A warning shot is not what I'm going to give you when I start pulling the trigger. I'm going to mean them bitches. So I'm going to tell you, here's your warning shot. Hey, dog, I'm not going to run up these steps. I just ate lunch. Still kind of sitting here. So if you keep walking up the steps, I'm going to shoot you. That's your warning shot. And if they'd have kept walking up the steps, I'd have unloaded on them motherfuckers. Unloaded. Ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. Knock them down. God damn it. I'd have knocked him down like I was at the carnival at Pioneer. God damn it. Exactly. All they keep doing is redoing the same motherfucking plot. It's the same plot, new actors. Now they're doing it with Michael Ely. Only role I ever want to see that motherfucker play is Prince, because he looks just like Prince. They got to have him do some type of Prince uh, movie and shit. He looks like Prince. I'd like to see him do it just because he looks like him. I know he can't sing. He probably can't dance. None of that shit. I just want to see him because he looks like that motherfucker. You know, they can teach him how to act like he's playing the guitar and all that shit. No, nah, he's playing some psycho motherfucker. I'm so sick of Paul George. Paul George needs to stop picking fights with people and shit. Got them goddamn struggle braids going and shit. You really, you really shouldn't be trying to pick fights and your braids is up here. When your braids is up here, when they're not even making it past your neckline, now nah, you don't need to fight. Because you're, you're struggling, you're struggling right here already. So concentrate on getting your braids longer. Fuck all that. Wore a daddy hat. She had a daddy hat on. What is, is that a brand? Is that daddy brand? Is that a brand? I didn't get that. What was the significance of that? Daddy hat. What was that about? Told you a lot of y'all left right when I put that video up. My, my shit went down like half. I only had about 15, 20 people in there. As soon as I put that video, they was like, all right, bye, nigga. <laughs> I get it. That's social media. That's social media. I, I don't really give a fuck. I'm going to say what I'm going to say anyway. Regardless. Irregardless. I just made about 12 people mad that's going to watch this. Irregardless. So, yeah, man. I'm going to go on and get up out of this motherfucker. What you got going on? Oh, Christopher. That's some funny shit. Why do they keep calling him a traitor? Because he because he's been speaking his truth. Lindsay trying to hold on. He trying to be like Jeffrey Osborne, holding on. 
They know they're about to get fucked up now. Now that the Democrats got every goddamn thing. I don't think nothing gonna really happen. Democrats too motherfucking middle of the road anyway. You got centrist Democrats. They closer to Republicans than they are fucking Democrats. Oh man, I think uh I think that's about it, man. I don't think I have anything. Let me see if I had any screenshots. I have any screenshots that I wanted to look at. <laughs> Put that Betsy Duvall shit up. I don't know why they all quitting. It's almost over for you any motherfucking way. What are you quitting for? Why are they resigning now? You don't need to design, resign now. But yeah, man, we're going to get this work in, dog. Yeah, what happened? When they said when the looting starts, the shooting starts. When they start looting them offices, when they start looting them offices and shit, how come the shooting didn't start? I mean, there was one shot right before it. Boom! <laughs> and, zzz, you know, there was those shots, but everybody else, you know. Go home. We love you. You're very special. I know how you feel. See, yeah, uh, he started that shit. He started it. He sure did. He sure did. <laughs> God damn it. I got to do this one. I got to do this one. Oh my God. This shit right here, this this will this this will take us out of here. So it's a video I posted. <laughs> When they, when they pepper sprayed that. <laughs> oh, shit. You just gonna get the audio. You're gonna have to find it, find it on my timeline. You got me. Here we go. What, what happened to you? I got me. You got me. <laughs> so what happened? You were trying to go inside the yeah. Like a foot inside, and they pushed me out, and they based me. What's your What's your name? Where are you from? My name is Elizabeth. I'm from Knoxville, Tennessee. And why did you want to go in? We're storming the Capitol. It's a revolution. <laughs> Thank you. She said we're storming the Capitol. It's a revolution. I'm Elizabeth from Knoxville, Tennessee. See, some of this shit is just so fucking funny. I'm Elizabeth from Knoxville, Tennessee. What are you doing here? It's a revolution. <laughs> Bitch, you just got pepper sprayed. <laughs> Take your ass back to Tennessee. <laughs> there ain't no motherfucker. Yeah, man. So. <laughs> It's a revolution. Yeah. So when I look at shit like that, when I when I see shit like that, it makes me laugh, but then I also think this is where our country really is. I mean, they thought they was really doing something in it. It, it did do a lot of damage and shit, and it'll probably come up as millions of dollars of damage and shit, whatever. But they allowed that shit to happen. Because if they really wanted to stop it, they could have stopped it. That's why I have no sympathy. I have absolutely no sympathy for DC right now. It's a revolution! <laughs> Dog. Dog. See, you can act foolish if you want to. Well, yeah, you can act foolish if you want to. But Facebook has a way. Facebook has a fucking way. Or Instagram or Twitter. They get that sound bite, you know. And I actually got this motherfucker, like, off TV. It was on TV and shit. And I just, I just thought it was just hilarious. She wiping her face and shit. And this reporter, this reporter was cold as ice and she said it's a revolution he was like okay (laughs) 
Back to you, Johnny. <laughs> he didn't give a fuck. He was like, I'm just trying to get this job done. I'm trying to get the fuck up out of here. Go get me some wings down here. Wing stop and shit. That's all he was trying to do. He wanted to get off the air. He didn't give a fuck what Elizabeth from Knoxville, Tennessee was talking about. Fuck you, bitch. <laughs> you shouldn't have had your monkey ass in here. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> and it is a one picture. It shows the brother running away. And he's looking away and he's spraying the motherfucker with the mace. They <laughs> said, my brother did a no look. He did a motherfucking no look. He did a Magic Johnson. was like, ah, let me hit you with it. Ah, yeah, dog. Yeah, dog. You just have to laugh at this kind of shit. You really do. If you don't, I mean, the shit that we're going through, the shit that we're dealing with right now, you, you've got to laugh. You've got to laugh at, at, at this shit. Where'd this shit come from? Hold on a second. It's a revolution. I just never, I never thought that it was going to get as bad as it got. And it just kept showing up worse and worse and worse. Um, it was fucked up. It was really fucked up. I don't think I have this video here. I don't know where it's at either. Yeah, this is before the election. This is when people were voting. So I don't know where that one's at. But there's just so much fucking dumb shit that's going on. But when I think about it, and I think about all the shit that we have to deal with <clears throat> as people out here dealing with shit like that, seeing shit like that, it just lets me know we're not the ones out here causing trouble. I mean, I already knew that. I mean, it, didn't, it didn't take Elizabeth from Knoxville, Tennessee to prove that we're not causing trouble out here. Um, We got a lot to be angry about, black Americans. We have absolutely a lot to be angry about. And I don't think that we're focused. We should be more focused, but we're not. Um, we're just, we're thinking, I think, too much about shit that it's it doesn't matter to us, okay? It doesn't really matter to us, but we, we focus on it, and it really shouldn't matter to us. Um, trying to find this video, man. I'm not going to find it before I get out. I ain't going to hold you up just for this video. But I think we need to get more aggressive out here. I was just speaking to a brother today. I mean, there's a lot of work to be done, you know, and I'm going to do my part in what I can do. You know, um, we got to get in play with these politicians. We definitely have to get in play with politicians. Um, we vote them in. They don't vote us in. We vote them in. And I'm not sure why people haven't figured out that politicians work for us. But they make it seem like we work for them. We don't work for them. Yeah, we go campaigning for them. We do a whole bunch of shit for them. But they're politicians, bro. I mean, they're, they're politicians. And if they need our vote, they need our agenda. And why are we continually voting for people and not getting anything for our vote. I have a problem with that. And I don't believe that we're going to get any of this changed around unless we start galvanizing 
aligning ourselves and getting our minds right, <clears throat> excuse me, politically. We can do a lot of shit if we get right, but we don't get our minds right. And there's too many people out here doing dumb shit, fucking around, doing dumb shit. We got to stop that. Okay? We got to stop that. If it's not about the right shit, don't get involved in that. We don't have time to waste. We don't have any time to waste. And there's a lot of fucked up mind states out here. A lot of fucked up mind states. And, and we start doing shit with people that really mean us no good. I'm not really sure. I'm not sure why we align ourselves with people that are bad for us. People that are not going to be fruitful to us, for us. Why do we put ourselves in those spaces? And we continue to do that. We absolutely continue to do these things. And at the end of the day, we have nothing. So I said, if, if it's not going to gain us anything, there's absolutely no reason why I need to be out here doing it. Gain us, us, family. Oh, I heard that woman is from Detroit be wearing a red, white, and blue Trump hat. I guess she went down there too. I hope she was one of the six people from Michigan that got arrested. I can't stand that heifer. I mean, I don't care that she's a Trump supporter. She's she's goofy as fuck anyway, so it don't matter. She can do whatever she wants. She can support whoever she wants. But she's goofy as fuck. So, it don't even matter. Yeah, man. Biggest word of the <laughs> Oh, man. But yeah, we just don't have no more time to waste, man. We just don't. So. I'm going to get on out of here. Have some fun with y'all. Y'all be fucking around in the chat room making me laugh, getting me off topic. I don't know whoever's left in this bitch, but uh, y'all have a good night. Anybody that's going to check it out later, have a good day, good night. But, um, yeah, for me, for me, it's cut and dry. That shit in Washington, it ain't my responsibility. I can't care about what happened in Washington, D.C. I'd care more about that if they take care of us a little bit better. But they still out here shooting black people for no goddamn reason. We still out here getting charged, tried, and convicted unjustifiably. So I can't feel the way they want me to feel. And I am tired. My last thing I'm going to say. I am tired of them saying, this is not our America. It's not. It's your America when you shot Jacob Blake. It's your America when you shot Breonna Taylor. It's your America when you shot Rayshard Brooks. It's your America when you shot Botham John. It's your America when you shot Armand Arbery. I know y'all gonna try to say that that's not a cop, but he was a former cop. So eat a dick. Terrence Crutcher, David Harris, Alton Sterling, Freddie Gray, Trayvon Martin. I know he wasn't a cop, but he was a wannabe cop. See what that badge does to some people? Or just the desire to have that badge? The motherfucker was a retired cop, shot, shot Armand, and the motherfucker that was a wannabe cop shot Trayvon. See how that worked out? 
a wannabe badge motherfucker and a past tense badge motherfucker. Race soldier's a race soldier. And when you give him a gun and a badge, he's just a race soldier with a gun and a badge. Yeah, I didn't mention, I didn't mention George. Cause see, that's what all this shit's been built off of. You know, they done built this whole motherfucking movement this year or last year. I'm sorry, we already ended this year off of George Floyd. George Floyd was, was, was 2020. It was COVID and it was George Floyd and everybody else got killed around him. Can't forget David McAtee. Y'all know about him. He got shot when cops were shooting at people and shit in uh, Louisville. In Louisville. David McAtee. Restaurant owner. Unjustifiably. Yeah. See, don't tell me this isn't our America. Because it is our America. It's most definitely our America. Y'all just don't want to fess up and admit that it's your America. Yeah. Keep saying this country was built on immigrants and keep seeing what happens. Absolutely. This doesn't happen with any other president. He is 100% the blame. Everybody that enabled him, absolutely. But he is 100% the blame. <clears throat> there is. Yep. Yep. They held on. Tell you, man. We're going to be all right if we galvanize. We're going to be all right if we get together. If we don't, there's going to be issues. If we don't align ourselves, there's going to be issues. So hopefully we do. Hopefully we do. Y'all be good. I let me know right there. It's time for me to go. So you ain't saying shit. You ain't putting shit through the speaker. Shut it down, motherfucker. I just just want to get these numbers down so we can stop wearing fucking masks. That's what I want to do. Peace to my descendants of chattel slavery. Peace to my descendants of freedmen. We know we American. We ain't got we more American than any motherfucker here. Black Americans are the only faction of people that have fought in every single war. Anybody walking around this soil talking about they American? Black Americans have fought in every single war. Period. Yes, ma'am. Sister Shauna, how you doing? Thank you for checking in. I waited till Sister Angela was done tonight, Sister Shauna, so I didn't step on her. We got to stop doing that, you know, with our cast. I waited for her to get done on her cast. She had a brother on there. He got cut down, and then I think her cast either, either went down or something happened with some equipment. I ended up losing my feed. Had to delay my stuff a little bit before I got back up. The cast guys wasn't wasn't with us tonight, but we gonna we gonna pull through. But I don't want to be on when she's on. You know, she get she get 10, 15 people on the live. I get 10, 15 people on the live. We gonna put it up on YouTube and all that later. But we don't want to be taking people that 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 are on one side and be having nah. That's why I want I want to set this up personally. Because I'm, I'm from this business. I think we need traffic. I think we need traffic and continuity. We need to be able to line up. When, I mean, and we can also develop people who want to 
sponsor shows and buy advertising on shows, we can get that going too. It's not just about making money, but it's about growing black businesses. Most definitely. We shouldn't just be selling in our own neighborhood. That's why I don't like, like these preachers to just be fleecing their own flock. Go out and get some money from somewhere else, motherfucker. Stop fleecing these same 17 motherfucking church members you got. Go out and get some more people in the kingdom. Shit. Get some more people in the kingdom. But y'all be good. I'll holler at you tomorrow. Or the next day. Probably be tomorrow. Peace to my brother, Senator Jeff Irwin, for the interview earlier this week. I should have said that earlier in the video because most motherfuckers ain't going to make it all the way to this. <laughs> and next week, we've got the newly elected. See, after 20 plus years of detriment in Washington County, Brian Mackey is finally out of here. Brian Mackey is gone. The new regime. Brother Eli Savitt. Call him a brother now. Because he committed to the interview. <laughs> but I'll be talking to him next week. The newly elected Washtenaw County prosecutor. I'll be talking to him next week. We're going to have a discussion about some things that we'd like to see happen around the county. Around our village. We're going to ask him some real tough questions. And then I'm going to throw him a couple softballs. And Brother Eli better knock them softballs out the park. I'm going to throw, I'm going to throw him some heat. I'm going to throw him some heat. And he'll get a chance to knock some of them heats out the park. But when I throw him them softballs, he, man, I, he better not whiff. He better knock them out the park. That's what we need. So we need, but yeah, you take care of yourself. I will definitely do that. Had the granddaughter over today, impromptu visit, did a little breakfast, did a little watching TV. She read me a little book, played her drum. Just another day, just another day. Caught that crazy side eye from her. It is what it is. She the craziest two and a half footer I know. But yeah. Be safe out here, man. And to anybody that sees Fernando Falonzo, understand that he affiliated with the Proud Boys. He's affiliated. Yeah. Can't wait till he comes back to Ann Arbor. Talk that Proud Boy shit back here. Come on back. Wear that Letterman's jacket, motherfucker. We're going to take the letter off that bitch. You didn't earn it. They just gave you a letter because you just hung around for fucking three years. You didn't earn that fucking letter. You used to have to play so many plays. Play so many downs or play so many plays, whatever it was. To earn your letter. Now they just give motherfuckers just for being around. Hanging around. You hang around long enough, we'll get that motherfucker. He wearing that varsity jacket 30 years later. Talking about, yeah, I was a receiver on the team. Motherfucker, you caught water bottles, bitch. That's what you caught. And you caught a cold standing on the sidelines, you motherfucker. Now you want to be a proud boy. Well, get on over there with the rest of them immigrants. The leader's an immigrant. The second in command is an immigrant. The third in command is an immigrant. And you probably like member 547. You are immigrant. And we don't give a fuck about the top three all the way to 547. Fuck all y'all. Eat three dicks. That's what I say. To the Proud Boys, three of them. Eat them. You don't rock my derby. One love. Thanks, Free. You put in that work this week. But guess what? It's always next week. We got one local politician who ain't booked yet. I ain't going to put him out here right now.
because he don't book by the end of the weekend. We're going to put him out there. He better not let me do my interview next week with Prosecutor Savage. And he don't confirm. We're going to have a problem. We're going to talk. Oh, yeah, we're going to talk. We're we, we not letting nobody, nobody gets by. Black watch or bust. I don't give a fuck who else's show you go on. Come on this motherfucker and answer these questions for the people. Because that's who I'm for. I'm for the people. One look.